All right, so we are ready to get started. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here tonight. Uh, we are beyond excited to be able to bring back this trip. Been on hold since uh, 2016, or 2016 is the last time we went. Been on hold since 2020, obviously. So, um, like I said, we're just very excited uh, to be able to bring this back. This is um, by far one of the best performance experiences that we offer to our students. And um, all of our ensembles have had really amazing experiences every time we've done it. This will be my fifth time, I believe, doing this trip. So um, it really is just an, an, a wonderful experience for everybody involved. So one more time, here is the link in chat for the Google Drive. We'll take you to the uh, information that I'm giving you tonight. And um, this recording as of the, of the Zoom session, as well as the information for the trip will be on our music department website, um, hopefully tomorrow. So uh, if you go to the high school, go to music, uh, academics and music, you'll be able to find, uh, we'll have a tab there for the Disney trip, okay? Uh, so a couple of introductions. Uh, first of all, um, I don't know if you, I have Mr. Otto on my screen, of course. Uh, Mr. Otto is the uh, band director at the high school. I also have uh, Bruce Bevan, uh, who has been our um, person who's done our trip at World Class Vacations since we started. Um, so very excited to still have him around. He is the absolute guru when it comes to anything Disney uh, group trips. Um, so we're really lucky and we're in pretty amazing hands. They've done it for us multiple times. And then, yeah, obviously, I don't know, Bruce, you want to give a quick intro or tell yes, us? World class vacations. We've been around for <laughs> for over forty five years. Um, we're Disney's largest producer in the country for student groups. Um, we deal a lot with uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. A lot of the senior class trips that go down year after year, and many of the bands and choirs that go usually every four years. Some go every three years. Uh, uh, but we've had hundreds and hundreds of schools every year up until twenty twenty. Um, which when that happened, of course, everything shut down and all of the people that we were dealing with at that time were because of the C CDC advising no travel, um, everyone got a 100% monetary refund. Uh, I think we were the only travel company in the, in the country that, that was able to do that. Um, so uh, going forward to 2022, uh, this year is almost back to the, what it was pre-COVID. Uh, which is great. Uh, a lot of the groups have traveled. We haven't had any problems this year at all. Um, Disney has instituted a lot of new rules uh, that we have to get used to. Um, but uh, overall, uh, travel is definitely back. And uh, for 2023, um, we're, we're getting packed to the gills with uh, con doing contracts for 2023. So we're glad to see everybody's back and, uh, and traveling again. Great. Thank you, Bruce. So I'm going to go ahead and start going over the uh, information. And um, while I'm doing that, if at any time you have a question, I'm going to ask you um, to type the question into the chat. And uh, Mr. Otto is going to be monitoring the chat as we go through. And uh, if any questions are of importance at that moment, um, we'll go into them. He'll, he'll interrupt the uh, session to tell us. Um, otherwise, we're going to go um, at the end and answer a lot of those questions. So um, that's what I'm hoping to do at the end. Um, but if something is um, pretty important, we get to it right now, um, we will do so. So again, the link last time is in the chat. So you can go there and, um, and get the copy of the link. I am going to share my screen. Oh, this is new. Okay. I have everything says unknown for the first time ever of me doing this. Here we go. Well, let me go back. You think, yeah, this is weird. I'm sharing my screen and there's nothing there. This is awesome. Okay, so. Okay, 
give me one second. I'm gonna have to put this up in Safari here. Mr. Otto, you want to sing a song while we're doing this? Here? That's kind of your forte. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'd be entertaining. Yeah, this has never happened before. There we go. Zoom. Okay. Oh, it's asking me to quit and reopen. What is going on? Okay, so I'm gonna, instead of sharing my screen here, I'm just gonna have you follow along um, in your packets. We'll just go like that. Can you share your screen, Mr. Otto? If you, uh, if you allow me to, I can. All right, hold on. Co-hosts. All right. All right. Give me just one second here. It is three hundred thousand times the last two years, and then tonight gone. Right. There that's we go. Good. This one. Yep, that's it. All right. All right. So, um, thank you for that. Um, so you see, this is our, our contract, um, has really all the information um, that you're going to need to uh, get started. Um, it is a contract between the students, parents, teachers. Um, the signed contract, including the UHS field trip medical form, which is um, below, are going to be due with the first payment of $500, and the first payment is going to be due on June 1st. Now, normally when we do this trip, we start the process of this trip uh, months ago. And we would probably be at this point, probably into our second payment of what we would normally be doing. Um, unfortunately, um, because we weren't even sure, obviously about travel. Uh, and secondly, um, Disney still hasn't decided fully what they're doing in regards to the candlelight processional, which is one of the biggest reasons why we go in December is being part of the candlelight processional. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's it's a really awesome experience um, for the singers uh, that happens just in the Christmas time um, in December. And um, even as of today, um, they have not fully disclosed whether or not they are having the candlelight processional. We're moving forward as if they are. Um, and then not necessarily they don't know if they're doing it, but they're not sure how many groups they're inviting from outside of Florida. So that decision is supposed to have been made in April, which is why we're waiting until April. And now they've moved it back to the summer. So that's the reason why we are doing this later uh, than we normally would. Um, and um, nobody's fault. We just, we, again, we were waiting for decisions to be made and they still fully haven't been made. So we obviously had to keep, we had to move forward at this point. Um, so it is really quick turnaround. Um, we just got board approval last night and uh, we needed to wait for that until we could even have the meeting, but that's why we set this up for the day after the approval happened. So we get this um, happening right away. Um, so, and we'll get into the, um, um, the trip payments and, and schedule for that as we move forward. Um, there will be fundraising opportunities uh, that are available for this and we'll get into them a little bit later as well. Um, as well as financial assistance. One of the biggest things um, for us in the music department is that we strongly believe that um, no student should be left behind because of financial reasons. Um, we know sometimes families could go through some um, tough times. Um, the fundraising is gonna be huge in, in that effort. 
Um, but we never want it to be that um, a student wouldn't go because of financial reasons. And we will do everything within our power um, to get the financial assistance for anybody. So um, I know it's hard, but if it's something that um, you think you might be in a situation, please feel free to contact me. Um, and um, we can figure out a lot of different ways to go about um, funding the trip. So um, just wanted to put that out there, make sure it's there. Um, the pricing, um, as you can see, uh, dependent on how many people per room. We try to get as many people in quad occupancy as possible, um, which is four per room. And the total price for that is $15.95. Uh, the triple occupancy price per person, these are all per person pricing, um, per person is $16.95, double occupancy $18.25, and single occupancy is $22.75. Um, the inclusions, and could you just uh, slide on a little bit, Eddie, thanks. Um, this really includes um, pretty much everything. Um, it includes uh, transportation from the airport uh, from uh, the school to the airport and charter buses. Uh, it covers the round trip air um, from Philadelphia to Orlando. It's five nights hotel in Disney. Um, we also have um, transportation, you know, going from the, uh, from the Orlando airport down to uh, the hotel. Um, each person, each participant will get five Disney dining cards, um, each one for each day. Um, four of them are going to be for $50 each, and one of them is for $10, which is that Sunday that we leave in the morning, so it's for breakfast. Um, so there is meals included in that. Um, your park pass um, is included in that. Um, we do have on arrival from the airport, we do leave after school on that Tuesday the 13th. We arrived in that evening, um, and then we will have pizza and soda um, for the students when we get to the hotel on that evening. Um, so that's another meal that's included. We have um, a, uh, a color photo everybody will get. Um, we'll take a picture of the whole group at some point while we're down there. Um, also has, um, also includes uh, private security. So we will have private security every night that we're in the hotel from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So, um, you know, we make sure everyone's, everything is, is secure through the, through the evening. Um, and then obviously this uh, pre, uh, preacher presentation. Um, can you slide on a little bit further, Mr. Otto? So we're gonna get into the uh, payment schedule. So as I said, the first initial deposit, is gonna be $500 um, and that's gonna be due on June 1st. And then the final payment um, for the trip is going to be on September 1st, okay? Um, Really important are that there's a cancellation penalties um, for this trip. And usually, you know, when you make an initial deposit, if you're far enough out, um, you um, can possibly get money back, your deposit back. But because we are so close to the trip, um, there is no um, de uh, deposit that's refundable. So that first payment that you make um, after that there is going to be a $500, which is the amount of the payment per person penalty, okay? So if you do put it in and then decide later that you can't go, there is gonna be a cancellation um, policy for that, unfortunately. Um, and then any cancellations after the final payment um, is going to be subject to 100% penalty um, on the total uh, package price. At that point, and even as we go into this deposit, um, airline tickets that are going to be non-refundable when you purchased. A lot of things are going to be purchased that are going to be non-refundable. Um, so um, that's why we have these cancellation penalties in place. Um, something um, we highly recommend um, is going to be the optional travel insurance, um, which is going to be um, in a little bit. We'll talk about that. Um, we highly recommend that, especially with COVID and everything else going on. Um, all the terms conditions are going to be uh, below in the flyer. Um, it is recommended that you purchase the uh, insurance at the time of your deposit. Okay, um, and then when you make uh, when you make your first deposit in school, um, also make sure you note that um, you cannot purchase any insurance after you are paid in full. So after nine one, you will not be able to purchase this insurance. 
Okay. And I think when we do get into that towards the end, um, I might have Bruce talk a little bit more about that as well. Yeah. Um, and then um, we'll go um, um, at that point, it's towards the end, we'll go into uh, questions at that point as well. Okay. Um, Bruce, did you have something you wanted to say, or is it okay to wait till we get yeah. down? Well, just uh, two quick things on the insurance portion. Uh, part of that insurance is what's called a CFAR, cancel for any reason insurance. And what that does is if somebody has to cancel, say close to the trip, and it's outside of 48 hours before the trip, you can technically cancel for any reason at all um, and get 75% back of any non-refundable portion. So basically you, you can only lose 25%. Now, of course, you don't, don't get your insurance premium back that you're gonna be paying the insurance company directly online. Um, but uh, that helps people who might end up leaving the district or moving, moving away. Uh, if somebody gets in trouble for discipline reasons or academic reasons and, and uh, can't go on the trip or whatever. The other thing is um, you can always do a name change. We can do a name change up until five days beforehand. So if somebody does have to cancel, rather than even going through the insurance, if you can find some another student who might not have uh, signed up in, initially and uh, wants to go and it, it's approved by the school, um, you just the person who's canceling pays the, uh, um, I mean, the new person pays the person who's canceling and they, uh, they wouldn't lose anything in that case. So it would be I'll get possible. into a little bit more later when we get go through the, the flyer one. There would be possibly some like uh, airline name change fees, stuff like that involved. Um, there won't be up until um, uh, really five days beforehand. Awesome. So we can, we can do that. Um, where there might be fees is if somebody who was maybe in a uh, quad room and then the person who's coming in wants a new room, well, there's a difference in occupancy that they'd have to pay that difference. Right. So, so there would be possibilities yeah. of getting um, of getting money back even without going in uh, through the insurance. Sure. Um, great. So and this is something that does not happen very often, um, obviously, but when it does, at least it's good to know that we have we will possibly have some options for people um, um, to get to get money back if, if that happens. Um, so moving on, uh, parents um, guardians are going to agree in this contract to pay any property damage caused by a student. That includes hotel, student's room, bus, any other property. This is obviously something um, I'm not expecting to ever have an issue with, but we just need to make sure that we know if anything would arise like that, um, the parents would be responsible for any property damage. Never happened. Not going to wood, it's not going to happen again. So I'm not concerned. Um, all checks um, for payments are going to come into the high school. Um, preferably to me, so I'm going to be going, uh, the payments are going to go through me first, and then into the main office. Um, so attention to me or in my mailbox, or even the, we have a drop box, uh, lock box in the um, band room can go there. Um, but all checks are going to be payable to UHS activities. Uh, if you are somebody that doesn't really want to go into doing two payments, and you just want to pay for the full trip, if, if, if you like, uh, during the first payment, you can do that. Um, you, but it, but if you. you do if you do pay everything at the first payment, you need to buy the insurance if you're going to do it before you make that full payment. If you're making your full payment, even if it's to me and not yes. to you, yes, because if if somebody had to put a claim in, the insurance company is going to ask them to provide the their check stub, you know, stub that you know shows that they paid at the time. So it's really when they when they paid you. Okay. Yeah, so this is this is a little bit different than from in the past. So if you want to play it safe, just go ahead and put the deposit down. Um, but you know, maybe we, we would talk through if you wanted to go a different route. Uh, we this can, question you know, kind of applies what you're talking about now. Uh, if the event is canceled for any reason, would there be a refund? If they had the insurance, the cancel for any refund would apply if they canceled outside of 48 hours before the trip. They would like need to, if, if the trip itself is canceled, though. Oh no! It, well, if the trip itself is canceled, um, then everybody would get a refund because the trip trip's not happening. Perfect. 
Right. We're, that's, we're, that's that's what happened in um 2020 but i wasn't sure that that right. was going to happen again in 2022 so that's if, if the same type of thing happened like with the cdc and you know it was unsafe to travel and and everything went then the trip is off everybody gets a refund will it be a full refund if the Pardon? trip gets if the trip is cancelled for some reason covid or anything else would it be a full refund Yes, but a full refund with the exception of the people who did take the insurance because the insurance goes to the insurance company. It doesn't go to the, uh, the actual cost of the trip or to us. It goes directly to the insurance company. Now, what we can do, and the insurance company was uh, willing last time when the tri if a trip was canceled like that, we... Uh, applied for them to get a full refund because there wasn't any trip for them to insure, and they did insure, and they did uh, do so. They didn't have to technically, but they did because they weren't they were no longer insuring any trip because there wasn't any trip. So they did give it back. But that portion, I can't guarantee that the, the insurance company will do that again. I can only guarantee what what we will do. But what the parents that did not take an insurance. And let's say the trips gets canceled. Okay. Uh, again, if it's if it's something like to happen in 2020 with where uh, things are shut down, the CDC recommends that the trips cannot go, then everybody would get a refund back. Is that included in the contract? Yeah. So in the back of the contract, well, Jason would. Um, that's yeah. That's the school contract. The, the school contract. Yes, it is. It's on the back of the uh, uh, contract on number uh, number 17 on the back of the contract. Okay, and the reason I asked this question was there was a similar trip that was support, uh, Eddie, you might know on Paris side and it was canceled because of COVID and we did not get a full refund back. And we don't want to be in the same. Right, and I think we were the only company in the, in the country that, that actually gave back and have it on our contracts uh, for the future. Okay, good. Um, okay, good. Thank you. And uh, if I could remind you, um, as we go through, go ahead and if you could put those uh, questions in the comment section, we're going to get to all the questions towards the end. Um, just make sure you get in there because I don't want to miss anyone and get anything jumbled. All right, so let me continue on. Um, just need to go through a few uh, technical things. Um, obviously, you're going to read the list about behavior. Um, you know, there are some really um, um, strict rules that we need to make sure we are following uh, to make sure everybody's safe. Um, you know, students may not leave designated area uh, for any reason when we're in the parks. Um, associated with members of other groups are prohibited. Visiting other groups areas in the hotel is strictly prohibited. Having a visitor from another group is prohibited. Um, we need to make sure that we are showing respect to the chaperone staff at all times, listening to and following directions of the chaperone staff to allow the trip to be successful. Absolutely all forms of alcohol, drugs, and tobacco products are prohibited. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, schedule that will accompany the final itinerary. So once we have our final itinerary, we'll be uh, strictly enforced. So when we're all in the same park um, for a certain day, um, you'll be making sure that you're following um, the itinerary as it's going to be on the final itinerary. Um, Students are never permitted in the room of opposite sex at any, for any reason. Um, students are going to be expected to behave as they would in school during the trip. Um, we talk a lot about your performance offstage. Equally as important as performance part of the festival or what you're doing. Um, exemplary student behavior is expected. Um, so the most, most important thing is right here. School rules are going to be in effect for the entire duration of this trip. Major violations could result in immediate dismissal from the trip and parents or guardians will be responsible to get your child home immediately if necessary. So what that means, and um, a situation that we did have in the past where uh, we had a, a room where students um, were in possession of something they weren't supposed to be in, um, have possession of. And, um, and there, there is um, going to be an administrator that will be on the trip with us as well. Um, but if anything like that does happen, um, we are going to be forced to send people home. And we had to do that in the past where uh, that evening we had to contact a, par uh, a parents, they had a book a flight, and then we had to get that student went home that next morning. 
So before even breakfast, we had a couple students that were no longer with us on the trip. So it is really important that you make good decisions on this trip um, and don't put yourself in any kind of situation like that. Now, this is very extreme, right? Only one time I've, has this ever happened, but it has happened in the past and we do follow uh, through with, with, with what the uh, expectations are for behavior. Um, and obviously there were you know, repercussions when they got back to the school, they were suspended or a lot of things that happened. So um, please make sure. Um, and again, this is something that I never expect any of our students to be part of. Um, so we just need to make sure um, that we're all on the same page for that. Because if that does happen again, um, there will be expectation that you uh, will not be able to continue on with the trip um, moving cool. forward. Okay, so um, just make sure that's out there and we're all aware. Um, and it's in the bottom there, we hope the contract of you is a tool to ensure that the environment will be safe, secure, one for all. Uh, with your help, this experience will be educational, enjoyable, and will enhance the positive reputation of the Unionville High School Music Department. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact any of us, Mr. Otto, Mr. Zampetta, or myself. Mr. Otto, can you uh, float down, please? Um, so again, we're gonna to get to all the questions um, that are gonna be in chat. So uh, if you think of anything, just make sure you have it down there um, and we will get to all of the questions. Um, as part of your first payment, um, the signed contract is gonna be necessary for you for that deposit to be accepted. Um, just making sure that you know that you read the contract, all the provisions, you read the payment schedule, the cancellation policy, um, you agree with that. Um, and again, supplying transportation if this action is necessary. Again, this is only in, in very, um, you know, if somebody's late for um, a room check or something, we're not sending anybody home, right? It has to be for something very uh, big issue um, where the student can no longer be part of the trip, okay? Um, so there's a place for you to print the name, parent signature, and then students also needs to sign this as well. Uh, that you read it and abide by the rules of the contract and all. Okay, so um, that will come in with your deposit. So scroll down, please. Um, in addition to the signed contract that I have there, um, everybody that deposits for the trip, um, I also have a Google form um, for you to fill out. And um, the Google form is going to be, um, there's one link for UHS students and there's also one link for families and guests. Now, we are hopeful that a lot of the families, and in the past, a lot of the families have come with us on the trip. So um, it is open to all family members. It is open to anyone that you want to bring, extend the family, bring them along. Um, this is open for all families to enjoy the experience of what this trip is. So um, if you are planning to go, um, there is a family and guest link that's not as long. Um, one thing I will say is you'll see in the Google link itself when you click on it is I ask for you to list your name as it appears on like an official passport or your license um, because that those names that you submit on those Google forms is what we are going to submit to world classifications for the flight list. Okay, we're not going to spell anybody's names. We're just going to cut and paste or actually just send the link down to world classifications. You're typing in your official name how it's going to be on a passport or license um, so that there shouldn't be any issues with misspelling any names um, in the transfer because we don't want to have any issues with flights um, with people you know Nate the, the name says Nate but their official name is Nathaniel you know anything like that we just want to avoid if that's even going to be an issue so you will see that on the google form but you'll see there's one link for students only so Unionville high school students UHS students and then another link for families and guests that are, that are planning to go on the trip as well. Okay, scroll down, please. Um, field trip medical form. This is something that we're going to need um, really just for our students, um, our UHS students. Um, and on here is going to be uh, important questions. You've probably seen this a million times. We will have at least one nurse, if not two nurses, um, on the trip with us. Uh, the nurses are the ones that are going to be giving medication through the day, so they'll need to know what medications you may need. Um, so that's how you'll fill in that form and that all that information will be there for the nurses. 
Um, really important that our nurses are in um, possession of uh, your medications. And um, as we get closer to the trip, we'll talk about how we're going to get the medication to nurses and all that. That's gonna be a whole big other separate meeting we're gonna have as we get closer. Scroll down, please. So um, here we have our sample itinerary. You see on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday we leave after school. So they will not be missing um, school. Uh, they'll be missing school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, this will be a, an official school business trip or a school trip. Um, so the school will get all the names of all the high school students that are involved and they will be excused absences because it's an approved school trip. All right, so you're not gonna need to do any kind of individualized um, sending in a note for absences, anything like that. They will have a list. Um, we send it usually right before we go just to make sure it's as up to date as possible. So they'll know exactly who's involved in the trip and then um, they will be excused absences. Um, so that Tuesday, again, we leave from the high school, charter buses will take us to the airport, airport down to Orlando, then we'll have more transport, get our, our luggage, transportation to the hotel, and then we will have pizza and water, um, um, uh, pizza and sodas um, for everybody back there. Um, the next day, again, this is just a sample itinerary to so get um, an idea. Um, everybody or all of our students um, will be getting a um, dining card the morning. Um, of each day. So Wednesday morning, their chaperones will hand them their $50 uh, dining card. We're not going to give all of our students $210 of, of dining cards and be like, you know, go on, you know, do what you need. Um, so um, we'll give one uh, for each morning, but that, um, for instance, we'll do Magic Kingdom. Um, where we have our march marching band uh, going down Main Street, which is an, a wonderful experience. Um, all the transportation, everything will be taken care of. Um, we will all be in the same park at the same time. The expectation is that all students um, will be um, in attendance for all of the performances. So if I have a student that's in choir only, um, they, for this first day, the expectation is that they will be on Main Street um, at the time of the parade to watch them and cheer them on. And then after the parade goes, then they can go back into the park and, and enjoy the day. Um, we will be taking attendance. Chaperones will be taking attendance at, at each one. Um, it's a lot easier to do now um, with cell phones, um, but, um, but the expectation is that everybody will be at everybody's um, performance to cheer them on. Uh, next day, um, possible Disney Spring performances for orchestra. Um, it says and choir, so, um, and as well as um, possible if we can try to get um, performance for a jazz band as well, which we've done in the past. So we're hoping um, that uh, Disney is um, changing a little bit how they're doing things as um, so they um, allow you to um, put an application for one band, one choir, one orchestra, and then they put you on a wait list for um, additional bands. So um, we are hopeful that we will be able to have a jazz band um, portion of this as well. Um, so anyway, so this is just a sample itinerary. Again, this is going to change when it, when we know exactly what's happening. Um, you can see Fridays in Epcot for um, Candlelight Processional, and then Saturday um, is just listed as Animal Kingdom. So um, again, just a sample itinerary. Can you scroll down, please? Sunday we return. You get a $10 card for breakfast. We get breakfast, get our luggage, head out to the airport, and then we fly back, um, usually in the morning. Okay, uh, scroll down, please. So we are going to be using the Remind system for all communication for this trip. So as soon as you do um, submit your deposit, the instructions for joining um, Remind are, are here. Um, I already have it all set up. We are going to be using this for all communications. So if you need to contact us for any time, that's what you'll use. Um, if we need to contact you, that's what we'll use uh, um, to do that. Um, it does. Um, it is an app on your phone, um, and uh, you just need to download that app. Our students, we've been, I've been using this, and we've all been using this a lot. Um, it is a great tool to get communication out real fast because it does um, text you, um, and it'll text a lot of people at the same time. So um, it's a really good system. So we are going to be using this for our main communication. Um, any technical issues, um, you know, email one of us and we can help you out or, um, 
you know, if, if, if for some reason, you know, your phone doesn't take apps or doesn't do anything like that, um, we'll figure out how to how to get um, how to get you the info too. So, but for all of us, as many as possible, we're going to use the remind system. Okay, um, scroll down, please. Um, so here we have the um, information for insurance um, down here, and you can see right there on that page is the information. It has the link um, to take you to uh, where you need to go for purchasing. Um, you can read on your own um, the information on the travel insurance. Um, it's all a lot of this is on that page there. And then the pricing, if you scroll down a little bit more um, to the next page, is going to be down there where you see the per person rates. Um, and I will tell you, the rates are actually pretty good um, for cancel for any reason insurance. Cancel for any reason insurance is always more expensive than regular insurance. The, the insurance that you would buy that isn't cancel for any reason, you only get money back if it's a covered reason. Um, but cancel for any reason, or any reason is great. Um, and, you know, my experience in the past, you know, insurance, even normal insurance is usually about like 10% um, of the trip. Um, and this you can see, you know, is, is seems to be less than that. So um, this is something that's offered through world classifications. Um, all the information is there. Also, the phone number is there if you have questions. Um, we are not going to get into the business of insurance. We're here to offer it to you and tell you that we think it's very important. Um, but it's not going to be um, something that that we're you know we're always going to any specific questions on insurance. We either go to Bruce or we we'll go directly to the company um, for the insurance uh, to make sure you get the the exact info for that. Okay. Um, so scroll down a little bit further, and that's the more information for the insurance. And I think, yes, that is it. So, um, what I'm going to do now, um, uh, I, we had talked a little bit about, um, fundraising, um, and the, um, a couple of uh, fundraisers that we do every, or the, the one big one that we do for the music farmer every year is our ad sale and the ad sale is basically you're selling ads for our UHS music concerts. So our orchestra, our, our instrumental vocal concerts um, for the year. Um, and you, uh, the student, receives 100% of what they sell in the ads. So if I go and sell a quarter page ad for the program that costs $75, you will get $75 in your account for your trip. Um, I've had many students by just using the um, uh, fundraiser, uh, the, the ad sale fundraiser, uh, pay off pretty much their, their entire cost of their trip. Um, so that really is a, a great fundraiser that we have. That information will be available to you um, as soon as I have the list of who's deposited. Um, I will then give all those people the um, ad sale forms at that point. Um, and then you'll be able to, you know, use the summer to, to sell ads. Um, so that's great. Um, we're also um, going to be offering our strip uh, fundraiser. And uh, Ms. Reno, are you here? Oops, sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, you, yeah. oh, there, okay. oh, there's it, great. All right. Uh, I'm just going to give a, um, an introduction for those of you that are not sure what that is. So um, just a few words about this program. It is a uh, fundraising program that will help you pay for music related expenses for your kid. Um, basically, it is a program where you can buy gift cards to more than 700 different retailers and brands and earn cash rebates, uh, of varying amounts uh, from those gift cards. The program is called Raise Right, and it is free to join. Um, so the retailers range from Starbucks to American Airlines and everything in between. Um, a lot of grocery stores participate. Uh, so for example, Giant gives a 4% rebate. Um, Whole Foods is 3%, Sprouts 5%. Uh, the rebates are actually are a lot higher for some other brands. Uh, so for example, Right now, DSW is offering 8%. So if you were to buy $200 gift card for DSW, that's uh, $16 that goes into your Raise Right account. 
Um, it doesn't seem like much, but if you get in the habit of using the, uh, the program often, it can add up. Um, another thing to add is that most of the brands and retailers offer e-gift cards, so you're not going to be juggling a lot of plastic gift cards in your, uh, in your wallet. Uh, you can use the app, log, in, log on to the app on your smartphone, and all of your e-gift cards are right there to use. Um, let me think, what else am I leaving out? Sue, can I ask a question about that? I, I tried to sign up on Raise, Raise Right after you mentioned it at the um, parents meeting last week mm -hmm. for marching band. And when you go in, you, like you need um, a code for your organization and some things like that. How, how do we get that information? Yes, so um, we have an enrollment code uh, that connects you to the um, UHS music department account. So if you and anyone who's interested uh, in this, either to enroll or with just more questions, uh, please feel free to email me at susanreno at gmail.com. That's S-U-S-A-N-R-E-N-O at gmail.com. Um, awesome, been, thank you. Yeah, sure. I've been participating in this uh, for about a year since my two ninth graders first joined uh, marching band. And um, it definitely, I, I was surprised to see it definitely can kind of take the edge off of some of the some of the expenses. So definitely consider it. Great. Thank you so much. And um, we will also have that information. We'll we'll have a form available on the um, we're going to centralize everything on a, uh, on our website on the uh, music department website. So that'll um, you know tomorrow it'll have the initial packet and information stuff like that. Um, but after we get to um, the deposit and everything um, we'll, we'll be able to get all the emails together and send everybody all the information that they need for the fundraisers as well. Okay. Um, Bruce, was there anything else from insurance wise or anything else um, that you wanted to add as of now? Yeah, again, the a, few, a few things. I saw some things popping up about uh, ID um, for traveling or on the airplane. Um, the real ID was supposed to be instituted several times over many years. Uh, uh, the newest date is not until May of 2023. So you don't, do not have to have a real ID, but anyone um, 18 years of age and older would need to have a government issued picture ID, such as a driver's license, passport, um, uh, something like that. Uh, a lot of the DMVs, you if you do not have a driver's license, and if you're 18 and do not have a driver's license, you can get go to the DMV and get a non-driving uh, ID uh, that would be government issue ID. Um, if you are under 18 years of age, technically, if you're traveling with an adult, you do not need one. But we highly suggest if you have a school ID um, to, to take it. If you're under 18 years of age, I don't know if you uh, if Unionville get, if the students have a student ID or not. Um, if if someone is 18 years of age or older and not um, uh, and does not have an uh, any kind of ID whatsoever, um, they can go on to the TSA.gov website. There are some other things that uh, it will offer uh, in order to try to get have some type of ID so they can check your ID at the airport. It'll take you longer getting through security and everything, but uh, um, it's not impossible not uh, to not get it. We highly suggest there's enough time uh, to get a non-driving uh, ID uh, from the government if you're 18 years of age or older. So that that's important. Um, the other thing as far as if, if parents are going or uh, are, are going two things I wanna make a point about here. Uh, number one is this trip is a package trip. Um, those who go on the trip, come home on the trip. If somebody is only wants the one way and doesn't use the return home, uh, there's no refund or there's no um, uh, anything that they can use for the future on that. Um, if if a, somebody is staying back and the, their family is staying on for a few extra days, they'd have to get their own way home if they're not as part of the actual package, the group package that, that's going. So keep that in mind. Um, um, number two is with Disney's new system here uh, with these group tickets, um, the, the tickets are one day, one park tickets. Disney requires reservations now uh, for the parks. So 
as a group, Jason and uh, Ed will have to say, okay, this is what park we're going to on what day. And that will be determined by what day of the performances will be. Um, and so if a family is going along, parents, they're gonna have to abide by whatever park it is that the group chooses to go to that day. Um, so that, that's very important. If you want to park hop or you wanna do anything, then you're gonna to need to do the trip separately from the, from the group trip. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, the, uh, that cancel for any reason, I think is real important. Um, uh, again, uh, it, so many things can happen or, and uh, somebody can, now keep in mind, even with that cancel for any reason, I said about the 48 hours beforehand, if something happens medically or death in the family and that the 100% the covered reasons are still covered all the way up until the actual trip date. It's only the cancel for any other reasons that it is the 48 hours beforehand. And if somebody's going to do that, they need to uh, notify us uh, in writing, in, in email or whatever, um, and the insurance company that 48 hours beforehand. Uh, that, that's real important. If there is someone who is involved in sports, and say there's a playoff that ends up coming up around that time period that maybe the team wasn't expecting to make the playoffs and they do. And they're going to end up playing a game, uh, a game the day before. I highly suggest that you send a cancellation uh, for that to be covered under that uh, 48 hours before, you know, cancel the two or three days beforehand. If you lose, it's easy to reinstitute because everything's already paid for, everything's already done. There's nothing we can do do about that. So, at least you're covered if you if they're winning, you don't end up going on the trip. So that's important. Nobody makes the playoffs in December. Doesn't okay. happen. <laughs> um, and uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, that portion of it. Um, again, so uh, yes, if somebody does. Um, uh, sometimes uh, parents will take their child and the, the parents will stay an extra day or two and they'll, they won't have their child come back home. I don't know what the school policy is on that, uh, but if they do, again, they wouldn't get any refund on that return portion uh, of that. Great. Thank you, Bruce. And I think it's, he made a great point. And re remember with the insurance, uh, you know, is cancer for a reason, which is great to have. Um, but if you cancel because of a covered reason, um, that's your, you're not in the 75% refund. You're in the hundred percent refund. If there's right. God forbid a death in the family, a medical issue, um, whatever, it's just, you actually have an added bonus of the cancel for any reason, which is huge. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, usually it's really expensive for cancel for any reason. This is a, a very good price for cancel for any reason, uh, insurance. So thank you, Bruce. Sure. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, so now I'm going to go um, through the questions. I'm going to go through them pretty quick. Cause I know some of these we've already addressed. Um, I've got, yeah, I'm up to the top here for the first question, which came at 720. Um, will students need to seek permission individually from the school for an excused absence? We talked about that. They will be excused absences. Um, school will get the, the list of students and it will be taken care of through that. Uh, event of cancel held, um, will it be refund? We talked about that. Um, Bruce mentioned about if the trip, the, C the CDC says, we recommend you don't travel, you know, airlines aren't flying, all that kind of stuff, like in 2020, um, then then yes, because we're using uh, world class vacations, um, we will there will be a refund. Um, mm -hmm. You're the, the and Bruce is um, telling the truth. He's the only company I heard of that that gave full refunds to everybody that were scheduled to to go um, like that. Um, uh, the travel companies like that. So that's great that we're using them. Um, Daughter be 18, uh, ID, so we talked about the ID, what you will need if you're 18 or older. Uh, how much the insurance, that's on the list there, so that's there, good. Um, again, confirming, yes, cancel for any reason. So yes, cancel for any reason is cancel for any reason. So if you say, you know what, I just don't feel like going, which I hope you don't, but if that happens, cancel for any reason, that is a reason. Um, and, and making sure that you know, you have to go on and actually buy that cancel for any reason insurance with that link. So right. you must do that. And you should do that by the first deposit date of June 1. Great. 
Um, so we don't uh, real pa real ID is not a thing until 23. It was 20, um, but it, they 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 did extend it to 2023. Um, what does Disney allow other than schools to perform? Still, I don't understand that question there. What ID? What Disney does not allow other schools to perform? Still full refund. Uh, so if Disney does not allow um, um, our performances. Yeah. So Bruce, if they if Disney says we're not allowing any groups to perform, as far as any groups performing, um, it is same thing. the uh, The only way that they would do that is if you know the CDC right. uh, has a, some kind of issue and, and there's a uh, you know harm, uh, to potential harm, then they they will close it down. Just oh, like Eddie, close sorry. down the parks, uh, um, you know, at 2020. The um, uh, keeping in mind the uh, with just getting the board approval, um, the applications are in and that, and so for the performance days times, uh, they will be coming up shortly. Now that now that they got the board approval, the applications are into Disney. Um, so that, that should be forthcoming. We'll know what day before that first deposit, we'll, we'll know as far as performance uh, uh, times. Not times, but days. And we won't know the actual times of performances until usually about four to six weeks beforehand. Great. Um, continuing on, uh, I just, uh, Eddie, I just noticed that you responded. So I'm reading your response there. Um, Concurrent family trip, what's that policy? Um, Henry, are you still on by chance? You asked that question. I'm not sure exactly. What Actually not Henry, so Leslie. Um, okay. Sorry. Yeah, we, if we didn't, we have a big family. We don't fit in all-star music. So we we are in a different situation. We have to stay in the villas. We, um, is that, if you do a separate, entirely separate family trip, uh, is there a policy about, you know, does your kid stay with the group as though your their family is not there? Like I, I'm just yeah, the, the student the student will be with the student trip. Gotcha. Um, I will tell you this: I have a big family as well who will be coming with us on the trip. Um, I don't know how many people you have. Oh, I have four kids, so the family is six. Yeah. Um, we get we we do two rooms. And a lot of times we can get um, adjoining rooms, so so um, they open up to each other. So it is possible to do at, at these hotels. You know, again, I'm not sure exactly how many people you're talking about, um, but you know, you could do eight people in two rooms. So right. that is, we we have been able to do large families before on the trip. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. You got it. Um, what if a student gets COVID positive before the trip? What is the policy? Um, if we're talking about insurance, um, cancel for any reason is a, a COVID would be covered. Um, other than that, um, if, if a student um, gets COVID before the trip and that student does not have insurance, there is not going to be a refund, right? If, if a person gets uh, COVID before the trip, right. if it's outside the 48 hours, they cancel and get 75% back. If they're actually on the trip they're down in orlando and somebody tests positive by a medical professional which i don't know do you take nurses on your we trip? do okay we will, yes uh, that's considered a medical professional if they test positive with a uh, uh a test a registered test that a med medical professional gives or whatever that would be covered for that person who, who tests positive on the uh, uh the insurance would cover that person who tests positive on on the trip now what would happen then? That person's going to need to um, quarantine for five days or whatever it is at, at that time. I know things have changed along the way. Um, uh, we will, if a chaperone needed to stay back, say the trip was coming home and that person's still quarantined down there, um, we would we would pay for a room for that person and for the medical, uh, you know, for the adult or whatever staying down there. Um, until they can come back home. Now the expense of coming back home or whatever, um, again, depending on if they, if they tested positive, then if they had the insurance, that will they can submit that to the insurance company because it happened and they were tested by a medical professional. Perfect, thank you, Bruce. 
Um, do the kids work out roommate logistics? Yes, um, students, once we um, get into, um, probably uh, when we return um, in the third week of August, um, students will uh, be able to choose who they want to room with. Um, so that'll be available, but yeah, that's how that works. We let the students choose who they want to room with. Um, if a student, if a couple of people say, hey, you know, I, I want to be in a triple or I want to be in a double, um, those options are available to you to do that. The single um, trip, um, that's really for adults. Uh, we don't ever allow students to have their own room. Um, that's there for if there's, you know, my aunt is coming on the trip as well, that person can have a single room if they want. So that's not open for students. They need to have at least one roommate. Um, Okay, yeah, so student roommates, and you can choose, you can room with everyone you want, any, any UHS student, um, so we can have a band student, a, a orchestra student, and a choir student in the same room, doesn't matter what they're in, they're, they're a student, UHS student, so they can go room with whoever they would like. Uh, not sure the uh, rules around flying will be in December, but if there are rules prohibiting flying while COVID positive at the time, how you handle the student test positive, so Bruce already went into that, um, how we'll handle that. Um, my son is on the part of course, you indicated the candlelight person was not confirmed, confirmed before the deposit. Is yeah, so, um, so we have, uh, uh, the, the choir will be performing, um, and we already have um, a backup plan. Um, I have a good friend of mine who has an amazing choir program um, at Pequay Valley High School, and um, he's in the same boat. Um, they've done candlelight many times, we're all waiting around for that to happen. Um, if candlelight winds up where they don't um, have that going on, um, the plan is we are doing a performance that we're probably going to do. Uh, we're going to resubmit our application. I've already talked to Disney about this um, to um, have a, a joint performance with them. So um, we'll know by the summer um, the decision that Disney makes. Um, but if candlelight doesn't happen, we're still going to have an amazing performance. So there will be a choir performance if candlelight does not happen. So um, we're hoping it does because it is amazing, but we will still have an amazing performance um, down there for choir. Uh, Symphonic Pan does not perform. Um, what we've done in the past is um, we've had uh, Symphonic Band members um, became marching band members. It's how we've handled this in the past. So uh, marching band did their parade um, I think, Mr. Otter, we talked about this a little bit about how we'd kind of handle that situation. Um, yeah. But well, well, well so the, what I'm planning on doing is, is we'll, we'll prepare a winter ref um, and we'll still kind of approach the whole symphonic season the way we have in the past couple of years. Um, but getting closer to the Disney trip, we'll get music out early um, in the fall. And then, you know, um, right after the concert or in December, we'll work through all that repertoire and class for symphonic band. Um, and then we'll have, you know, a couple extra uh, after school rehearsals to work on marching in a block. It's not going to be, any, it's going to be relatively low, low time uh, commitment. Um, and we'll, and we'll get everyone involved in the marching band for that parade in um, Magic Kingdom. And every time we've done that, it's been a, um, a huge success. So, and they have a great time. So um that's that's how we've we've worked that in the past. But that also um, is going to be open for symphonic and concert band members. Okay, so um, that's the same for both. Um, and, um, and middle school members in the marching band, because that's another question further down. Gotcha. So we'll get that. Um, uh, the Weather Missing School, how does makeup work? Um, I'm assuming you mean makeup work for the for school. Um, students will have a certain amount of days after they return um, to make up work. Um, our teachers will have a very advanced notice of who's on the trip. Um, and um, they will work with the students to, um, to get them caught up. So um, our, our teachers in the past um, have done a, a great job working with the students. Um, and a lot of our students have done trips before where they were gone multiple days and they, they know what they need to do. But um, there is a certain amount of days that you'll have after returning from the trip um, to get caught up. Um, and, and the teachers should work with you to uh, make that happen. Um, can families make their own travel plans? Yes, you can. Say another Disney resort, you can, absolutely. Um, I can actually help you with that if you wanted uh, and had any questions. Um, 
email me. I'd be happy to help you with that. Our hope is that as many families as possible are with us on the trip because it's, it's really, it's just everything works so much better when the families are on the trip um, in the same package. Um, but, that, but that doesn't mean the option isn't there if you want to do your own thing. Uh, since the trip will be in a regular school time, what about students missing classes? Also, students who go for the trip, does it consider as a regular school attendance? So we talked about that attendance and making up work. Can students get a one-way flight or just make one leg if they're departing later, going with different destination with family? Um, so um, you, 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 you have to come down with us, okay? That's for sure. Um, if you decide that you want to stay another week in, in Florida with your family or visit family after that, the, pl the, 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 the package does not change. We do not do a la carte, like one way flight or anything. You're going to pay for that, that full flight, right, Bruce? Yes, I mean, correct. if they, if they decide, pack. if you decide you want to stay for longer, you know, and you've communicated with us, um, and, um, you know, that's, that's fine, but there will be no refunds. There will be no changing of the package price for that. Um, yeah, prices for families are the same as student rates. Yeah, oh, the package price is the package price. Um, can a student from marching band and a student from course choose the same room? We talked about that, yes. Mm -hmm. Families going uh, is the 500 deposit. Uh, it is per person. All payments that are listed on that form are per person. So it's a $500 per person deposit that is due. Um, is this approved school absence part of allowed 10 days? Yeah, no, this is um, oh, part of the allowed 10 day absence for educational family trips. I don't, I need to double check that. I don't want to answer that. Um, I would need to get back to um, this question. Um, now, this is a, a school approved trip. This is not a personal family trip. So I, I, I can't see how that would be out of your, um, 10 day allotment. Um, because again, this, this is something separate. This is not a family trip. This is a school board approved trip. Um, but I need to get back to um, whoever asked that question. That is a very good question. Um, but I, I think it should be separate. Um, is this trip also open to middle school students? It is only open to middle school students that are in marching band. Okay, if we have a middle school student, eighth or seventh grader that is in marching band, it is open to them and their families. And that is only only a marching band. Color guard performance with the marching band, absolutely. You're part of the marching band, so absolutely, you'll be there. Um, what's the pricing if you sign up through the family link? Also, what are the details I'm looking for chaperone? Um, so um, right now, all we have for in, in regards to chaperones, we're not sure how many chaperones we're going to need until we have the final number of what we have. Um, on the form, the Google form, you will see a question that says, "Are you?" would you be interested in chaperoning? You can click yes or no. Once we have more information, we'll contact the people that say yes on that um, to see how many chaperones we'll need. Um, but, uh, and there is um, for chaperones, we do use chaperones or, or need parent chaperones. Uh, there is a discount for the, um, from the uh, group price, okay? Um, any experience having students with physical disabilities? Um, we have had uh, students with physical disabilities before. Um, Disney is one of the greatest places when it comes to uh, guests with physical disabilities or any disability at all. Disney is one of the absolute best places on earth that um, uh, work with, with really any kind of disability. Um, we do um, recommend if, if it's um, depending on what it is, um, it is definitely best for a, a parent to go on the trip with the student, um, but um, it, is, uh, it is possible um, for students with physical disabilities to go, absolutely, and we'll just work on it on a case-by-case -case basis, um, you know, but it is absolutely possible. Uh, students will be taking their own instruments. Uh, we will be loading up the band trailer. The trailer leaves like two days before the trip, drives down to Orlando and meets us there. So um, that's there for instruments, um, smaller instruments and strings, uh, violins, smaller um, string instruments, you will be bringing them with you on the trip on the plane, okay? Um, we don't put those in the trailer. Um, but but the my, cellos and these are going on the trailer, right? 
What's that? Oh yeah, like like the ones that you can actually hold, right? Yeah, oh. the smaller instruments, right? Exactly. Um, my student wants a quad room. Are we guaranteed that price? Um, so we've done that in the past, and that happens very rarely. Usually, we can get the numbers to be exactly where they are. Um, we will do. We will. We will. We will honor that price for a student. Um, like I said, by the time we get everybody in, um, the only thing is, once we get to the end of the rooming list, um, we will be rooming people that may not know each other at a certain point. Um, we make sure that they meet each other and they become friends before they go on the trip. Um, but if 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 we have a few people, once we get towards filling up all the rooms, say we have only three people there. You know, but they we're trying to get them in a quad. We'll we'll work on that. Um, that again, that does not happen to maybe one room worth of people by the time we get down to it. Uh, for the script program, raised right. Do you have to buy cards all at once or by a certain time? So Sue, are you still here? I am. Uh, you don't have to buy them all at once. Um, in fact, the e-gift cards come through really quickly. So. Uh, you can even be standing in a store ready to buy stuff and just purchase an e-gift card for that particular store. It'll come through right away. Um, the proceeds you get from the gift cards are available the month after you purchase them. Uh, that is the only timing issue. Um, so, and also just keep in mind that these uh, rebates can be used for any music department expenses. So obviously the Disney trip is a big one. Um, it can be used for banquet tickets, uh, marching band dues, indoor ensembles, so on and so forth. Thank you so much. Um, going on, are there different rates for those shown for families that will be coming along? Um, the rates are for everybody, uh, so we answered that. Um, if we're doing a family trip, is it fine if we don't mind eating the costs? I'm not sure. Um, I think that's in reference. That was when you were talking about how um, if you're still paying for the return flight, even if you don't take it. Yeah, that was what I meant. It was answered. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we, so we talked about that, right? Yeah. So if you, again, if you, you're you going to pay for that, if you want to stay extra in Florida, then that seat will go empty on the way back. We'll just, just we'll just uh, obviously communicate that. If that's happening, um, we do not know the hotel yet. Um, we're signed up for all star music right now, but there's um, there are a few hotels in that same category. So it is possible to it'll be in one of those hotels in the value um, designated hotels in Disney. Um, yeah, right now, it is the all star music um, uh, that they have us at. Yes. Yep. Um, any rough estimate of the total number of students eligible to go on this trip? Um, there's um we're estimating at least 125 um may, hopefully we can get more it's great um but that's what we're estimating um that we've had in the past around that number so that's what we're um, estimating it's very rough because hopefully you know we could have more it's great uh, if we plan a family trip and decide to book our own hotel air we'll be able to purchase disney passes with the group Unfortunately, not. It has. To, uh, we can only sell those as part of the package, the right. actual Disney tickets, because they're a discounted group ticket. Right. But what you'll want to do is, um, and again, I'm happy to help anyone. You know, I do. Um, I'm pretty knowledgeable of, of, of Disney and travel. Um, but uh, you you can purchase uh, single day passes on your own, um, and then just make sure that you make your reservations for the same day that we're in the same park. And then it'll be basically like the same thing, except you're in a separate package. You just want to make sure that it's a lot. This is so much different now post COVID. Um, I don't, I'm hoping that the reservation system isn't in play by the time we get to December, because it is a pain. Um, but you have to know that you have to make reservations to be in Disney parks. Now you can't just be like, Oh, today I'm going to go to Epcot. It doesn't work that way. Especially if it's, if it's crowded, They'll, they, 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 they cap the number. Um, how is occupancy and thus rate to her and send your child on their own, but they are grouped with other kids? Or do they have to? Yeah, so they're, so they're going to be grouped with other kids. So if, if, um, if you go as a family, are you rooming as a family? Yes, yes. Families will be rooming, um, families will be rooming themselves. Um, 
you know, if we do have a family there and a student wants to room with their family, um, that's fine. We, we, can, we can do that too. Um, we, we prefer to have all the students, but if we, you know, together, but if a student's like, you know, I really want to um, stay with my family, I'm most comfortable there, then that's absolutely fine. There's no problem with that. Um, do we pay insurance to UHS? No, insurance does not get paid. It has nothing to do with us as far as the payment's concerned. That's directly on that link where you make your payment. That does not go through UHS activities. Can a student go on the trip if a student is COVID positive? We already talked about that. Um, the night security rules only covers 11 p.m. to 5. That is correct. How about other times in the evening or early morning before or after group activities? Um, so yeah, so the, the um, 5 a.m. is when they're gone. Um, we'll have breakfast after that. I mean, there is a, there is a window um, between that and, and we're, we're out pretty early every day. So there's really not much of a, a issue between that time of 5 a.m. and you know when we're going to breakfast at seven even, um, kids are up and getting ready. Um, but yeah, so there are no security after 5 a.m. And 11 p.m. is generally a time when we're out anyway, the chaperones and um, once it starts up, we're, we're doing room checks usually a lot of times around that time, depending on when the parks close and all that. Um, anything on this trip for orchestra? Yes, Leo is going on the trip and um, there is an orchestra performance that is lined up. Um, singles for students are not encouraged. Doubles, you can do doubles, triples or quads. You may not do singles for students. Um, what if traveling as a family of four, but the high school student wants to room with the high school friends, right? So again, that that is what we're expecting most of the students to do if families are along, um, is to be staying with other friends and it's all charged the same. You know, everybody in the package is charged the same. If you're at a double, um, triple, quad, um, pricing is all the same. Um, I, have a, I have a private message question. Are there bed choices for families scared to have family of four in two doubles? So are, Bruce, there... are they queens or are they doubles in, in all-star music? All-star music uh, has been totally redone so they're all queen bed. There we go. I okay. knew it was redone, but I wasn't sure about the bedding. What was that? Oh, and I said, I knew they were redone. I just wasn't yeah. sure about the bedding. So that's great. Yeah. That's, good. that's good to know. Yeah, so they are queen beds um, in there. Um, oh, where are we here? Well, one, one, one thing I do want to mention, uh, if anybody is interested in going, especially if family and friends are not, um, we're going to need to know by that first deposit deadline, that, that June 1. So um, if you thinking of going, you got to make that decision by really June 1 so we can get a, a firm number on, on who's going and who's not going on. After that point, if there's room available, um, you know, we might might be able to take somebody after that, but you need to really uh, make your commitment by June 1. Thank you. All right, uh, will the school uh, doing a recording of performances? We will record all the performances the best we can. Um, candlelight processional, we, we always have lots of parents that are recording lots of things. We usually have really good um, videographers as well. So um, that will be happening. Um, there isn't an official one. I know candlelight, I know they, I, I'm not sure if they allow it, but I don't think they stop it, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Mr. Otto. Uh, the, so in, in place of marching band rehearsal, we have our instrumental concert tomorrow evening at seven o'clock PM that I'm encouraging students to come to, but we do not have um, rehearsal tomorrow. Thank you. Does the listing pricing per uh, person apply to guest family? Yes, it does. How many chaperones uh, are parents allowed? Yeah, parents are allowed to chaperone. We won't know the number that we'll need until we have the full list. Um, and then there is a discount, usually like 50% um, discount for parent chaperones. Um, but again, we don't know until we have the list of what we'll need and we'll have staff there too. So it, it depends. Um, All right, if only uh, one family member accompanies, how is rooming done? Um, if only one family, family member goes, you could either choose to room with the student um, that's going and you'd be a double or you'd, you would be a single. 
So that's how that would work if one person in the family is going. Um, can we just book flights to travel with students, but then don't stay at resort? Um, again, it's a package. So either you're part of the, either you are the package, you don't, you can't do a la carte um, anything with this package because we get special pricing on everything. Um, we'll be there the weekend before for a wedding, staying for a week. Can my son meet the group since we will already be there? Um, we can, yes, that's something that's different. Um, again, we can't change the cost of the, of the, of what we're doing in the package. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that shouldn't be an issue. If you're already going to be there, um, that, that, that should be okay. Um, but we would need them to be there with us that, that first night when we get there on the 13th. Um, right. and, and we would need to know that in advance to reserve, to keep their return portion, um, for coming back. Gotcha. Can you clarify what you said about price is the same even if your child stays with friends? Was not clear on what that means. So basically, uh, what we're talking about is it's simple. Whether a quad occupancy, uh, triple occupancy, double or single, doesn't matter if it's family or student. The cost of the of the trip is the same. The cost of the trip is the same. So no matter you know. If I have a family of four, for example, including a band kid, band kid stays with friends, then what? Yeah. So if that happens, you have three people in that room, you're going to be paying for a triple. Okay. Um, it is a, a quad. We, we, we make exceptions for, for students. Um, if we can't get them, if they want to be in a quad, um, you know, that's that for the student, but we don't do that for family. Um, we, we, there's only so much we can do when it comes to working out because we're, you know, possibly could be paying more. Um, but we'd have a little bit of a cushion with some things to help things out. Cause it's not a student's fault. They want to do a quad, but the numbers just don't add up. That's, we will, we will work as, as, as well as we can, but we can't do that for everybody, unfortunately. So, so if that's the case, then yes, it would be a triple a quad for that student in that quad room and a triple for the family. Um, so if parents sign up, we transport every day with the rest of the group. Or can we veer off if we need? Um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, so transportation, everything, you know, if we're part of it, you just need to communicate with us. Um, if you're not planning to fly down with us or you're not planning to fly back with us or, you know, you're not going to be, you know, whatever, you're paying for the group price. Um, but if you, if you need for your family to alter something, you just need to communicate with us. But we can't change any of the pricing for the trip. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, special seating for any of the performances for the families. There is not um, any special seating um, for most of it. It's not an, it's not an issue um, when it comes to candlelight processional. Um, it's two performances that evening and they sell out thousands of people that go to those shows. Um, there is a in the past, there has been a Disney package where you could purchase um, a meal and then like a special ticket into the candlelight processional. Um, those have been available in the past, but that's a, that's a separate Disney thing that, you know, you could do, but other than that, um, there's no issue with our Disney Springs performances, getting, they're all great seats there. Um, and then, uh, the, uh, for main street, you just need to get yourself at a good spot, you know, beforehand. Um, and last one, a parent allowed and uh, being a quad with three students, including one's child, uh, parent is not allowed to be in a quad. Um, they could be in a quad with three of their students, three of their children. Um, but we do not have parents in with your child and two other people's children. If that's what your question is, I'm not sure. I might be reading it wrong, um, but that that is not allowed. Um, do the non-chorus kids get to watch the kind of, Yes. Um, um, thing is with the non-chorus kids, and we tell them beforehand, um, you need to get there early and get a seat. Um, even if you can't get a seat, there is standing, you can stand in the back um, and, and watch. So if anything did happen where they couldn't get a seat because it was sold out and they got there right as it started, because whatever, um, they can still watch it from the back. Um, Will the families, family rooms be in the same area of the hotel? Yes, they will be in the same group of hotel rooms. Um, we try to, we, 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 and Bruce usually does a great job of this, is, a, you know, we give them the rooming list. Um, you know, we put some, some rooms together, other rooms together, and then we try to put the families, like, 
not necessarily in the middle of all the kids if possible. So if that's what you mean, um, we try to get the families like on the end of the, of the group. So you shouldn't be in the middle of everything. Um, as parents, do we have to be on the bus back and forth every day or can we come and go? Yeah, you, um, no, you, you don't have to take the public trans the transportation. Um, we're not gonna necessarily be checking um, chaperones and where you are, making sure you're on the bus right on time. If you wanted to sleep in that day, um, students have to follow our itinerary, but if a, if a family wanted to spend another hour in the hotel and then come to the park later, you can do that. Families, our students cannot. They must follow the itinerary. Um, just clarify, quad means four people. Yes, quad is four people per bed sharing two queen beds. That is correct. So that is what quad is. So quad is four, um, triple is three, double is two. If we have family members that can't commit by June 1st, is there a way to apply for place a deposit and space over the summer? So how? So that's a question. That's a great question. Um, Bruce, if, if we have students that say move in over the summer mm -hmm. um, and want to join, is there is there a possibility for them to join in if there's if they move in or yeah what well, basically I know we can't any it. anything after the june one um we usually will hold a few extra um at that time once we have that number um if if we're able to depending on how many people um we're usually able to accommodate that but we can't guarantee it uh, like if you know we start getting 10 different people, you know, all wanting to, uh, well, if it's available, sure, we'll, we'll, we can do it. Um, but uh, well, I'm just saying that you want to rest, rest assured that you have a spot, you know, do it by June 1. We're going we're yeah. to try to take as many people as we can if they add on, and if somebody comes into the district, sure, um, we're going to be able, we'll do that if we can. Great. And, and, Mark, just say, and you did say about the, um, the deposit, I mean, Again, you, the deposit, if you pay the deposit uh, to hold a space, you know, it is non-refundable after you pay it. So maybe there's possibly a way we can get someone to take the place of that person. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, the only problem with waiting is, you know, we can't guarantee um, that we can get a spot because we will, we will hold those first for, because we have this every time that students move in um, over the summer and we want to give them first opportunity to get extra spots um, we we kind of reserve some spots for that purpose. Go ahead, Eddie. This is why this next like week of recruitment for marching band is really important to marching band people because <clears throat> if we're having people joining over the summer, um, they may not have a guaranteed spot on this trip. Right. All right. So that was the last question. Um, thank you, uh, Bruce, for joining us tonight. Yeah. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Um, obviously, uh, I said we will have everybody uh, have everything on the website for you, um, the information, and then at any time, feel free to email any of us and we'll get right back to you with any questions you might have. So um, have a great night. This is going to be an amazing trip, and uh, I do hope that uh, you'll be joining us for it because it is an absolutely amazing experience. So I'm glad to have it back. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night and uh, Thank you. take care. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bruce. Bye.